Welcome to teach me animated math. In this solve along video, we'll be simplifying expressions by applying all properties of exponents. This is the first part, so it will consist of easy and intermediate difficulty problems only. Take note of this table summarizing the properties of exponents, as we will always be referring to it all throughout the video. If this concept doesn't look familiar to you, then I suggest that you first watch our explainer video on integer exponents. You can find the link in the description below. There will be a three second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video and solve it on your own first or just watch the video straight. All right, let's start solving. Use the fifth property of exponents, since the base number is 2, for both. Add the exponents 5 and 7. The final answer is 2 to the 12th power. Use the seventh property of exponents. Multiply the inner exponent 2 with the outer exponent 3. The final answer is 4 to the 6th power. Use the fourth property to simplify the negative exponents of the first two terms. Use the first property for the third term since the exponent is 0. Expand the last two terms. Add the fractions and whole number using the least common denominator of 4. The final answer is 31 over 4. Use the first property for the first term since its exponent is zero. Use the fourth property for the second and third terms because they have negative exponents. Expand the terms and add them. The final answer is 51. Use the fourth property to simplify the first and second terms because they have negative exponents. Use the first property for the third term because its exponent is zero. Simplify the fractions and whole number using the least common denominator, which is 45. The final answer is 116 over 45. Use the fifth property of exponents, since the base is x for all terms. Add the exponents 7, 6, and negative 2. The final answer is x to the 11th power. The base is y for all terms. This means that the fifth and sixth properties can be applied to simplify the expression. Add the exponents negative 3 and 6 and subtract 2, which makes the new exponent of y. 1. The final answer is y. Use the 8th and 9th properties to distribute the exponent 2 to all bases inside the parenthesis. The final answer is 49 a squared over b squared.
First, simplify using the fourth property. Remove the negative sign of the outer exponent and use the reciprocal of the original expression inside the parenthesis. Use the eighth and ninth properties to distribute the exponent to to all bases inside the parenthesis. Use the seventh property for base n. The final answer is n to the fourth power over 49k squared. Divide 2 by 6. Then, use the 6th property, to simplify the exponents, of m and n. The exponent of m, is negative 6 minus negative 2, or negative 4. The exponent of n, is 4 minus negative 1, or 5. Use the 4th property on base m, since it has a negative exponent. The final answer, is n to the 5th power over 3m to the 4th power. Did you learn a lot in the first part of solve along using all properties of exponents? Can you handle simplifying expressions with three variables? Try solving these problems on your own and comment your answers below. We will be revealing the solutions and answers in the more challenging second part of solve along using all properties of exponents. So be sure to subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math. And don't miss out on our easy and helpful math videos. See you next time.